Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There is no God like our God tonight. God bless you. As you're coming in the room, God bless you. Venus Wilson, Monique Burroughs, God bless you, beloved. Hallelujah, Jesus. Call for the blessing of the Lord in every sphere of your life. Good night. Good night to you, my beloved daughter. Amen. Giving God thanks for another Tuesday. Welcome to Righteous Remnant. Revelated Rhema. Just give me a few seconds. Let me go ahead and share the broadcast out with those who may be watching. I'm waiting for the invitation. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody just begin to raise a praise and bless the name of the Lord on tonight. God has been too good to us, amen? He has been too good. It's gonna be a minute, but all of them. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God for his favor. God bless you, Minister Antonio Summers, man of God. It's good to have you in the room with us tonight. As you're coming in, share the word of the Lord by pressing the share button. Believing that somebody who needs to hear this word tonight, that they will hear this word, their lives will be impacted, and everything will work out for their good. Can we believe God for good to begin to happen in the lives of other people tonight? Can we set ourselves aside, amen, and just think about the good of somebody else? Somebody sow the seed of hitting the share button tonight. Turn it a little lower for me, Josh. Hallelujah. God is indeed an awesome wonder. He is a great God. He does signs and wonders among us, and we ought to continue to just believe God and trust in Him and bless His name, because God is always there for us. Amen. Even when we feel there's nobody there, God is always there. I believe tonight, you know, even as I was before the Lord on today, and he gave me this revelated rhema for the body of believers who was a, who about to receive this word. You know, this word, it came in punching from all sides. It came in with an awareness. It came in with speaking from the heart of God. It speaks to the depth of what's happening in the lives of believers and how the very elect are being deceived, in, even in this time that we are living in. Amen. So... I want everybody to hit that share button. We're about to pray. Bishop Brian Graham is in the in the house under the roof, but he's not in the room with us in this moment. And so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start praying and we're going to be pulling down strongholds as I pray, you pray. Amen. The Bible says the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous, those in right standing with God. Your prayers avail much. Our prayers avail much. We, some of us on this line, we, we know the power and the impact of prayer. We know who God is. Amen. And we know what God can do through the power of prayer. All God needs is for the saints to begin to pray. For us to, to find ourselves in the posture of prayer between the porch and the altar. Hold on to the altar, somebody, tonight. Amen. There was an old apostolic song that used to play all the time. Hold on to the altar. I believe believe tonight God wants us to hold on to the altar. Hold on to the altar of prayer and to begin to pray until we see manifestation. We've come up with so many click click like acronyms. Uh, push until something happens. But can we just begin to pray until there's a break in the heavens? Can we begin to pray until the symptoms disappear? Can we begin to pray until the release of God is made manifest over us? Come on somebody. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm standing because of prayer. I'm living and breathing because of prayer. Amen, somebody. All that I am and all that I have is because of prayer. I bless God for his grace and his mercy. Bless God for all that he is tonight. 
He is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. Come on, let's begin to work that power tonight. Anybody ready to pray? Come on, somebody type in there is prayer time. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. God is a great God. Amen. Let's raise him up together. Let's lift him up together. Let's begin to bless God tonight. Let's do it on one accord. The Bible says that in the book of Acts chapter 2, when they're all gathered, they were in one place and on one accord. The Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord came in. And this is what we need in this end time. We need another touch. We need new zeal. We need fresh fire. Amen. And prayer and unity. Amen. Brings the fire of God to, to a, a place in our life where the enemy cannot stop us. To where the enemy cannot block us. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Father, tonight we honor you, bless you, praise you, worship your name because you are God. And beside you, there is none other God tonight. I come lifting up the body of your people, those that have gathered here, those that are represented here, those who are, are connected to the people that are in this virtual prayer room. God, I lift them up before you. God, you said if we, we lift them up, God, you will draw all men. We lift your name up. We exalt you, oh God. I thank you, Father, even as I lay them on the altar before you now, God, that your spirit will begin to move over them in the name of Jesus Christ Father God every hindering spirit that comes to stand against your people tonight every spirit of stagnation every spirit of delay oh God we break and bind it's hold now in the name of Jesus knowing whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven God tonight I loose mighty warring angels to begin to war on behalf of your people tonight God you said if we decree a thing it's shall be established. We call for the will of God, not the acceptable, but the perfect will of God over the body of this people tonight. God, we break the back of every spirit, every defying demon, every rebellious spirit, every stubborn spirit. Oh God, tonight arise and scatter the enemy. Father, tonight we thank you. Hallelujah. God, for a divine release over your people tonight where their lives will be so impacted that it will never be the same. God, that deliverances will come. God, that healings will come. God, that miracles will be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God, we come against every defying spirit. This, tonight, every demon that has been sent from hell to defy the power of God against the church. Yes. Father, we stand on your word and we bless you, O oh God, for a move of God by fire tonight. Yes, we God. call for a move of God by fire. May the God that answers by fire be the God that we shall serve. Yes. Father, right now we thank you that every diabolical sanction of the enemy has been destroyed by the power of yes. the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God, we speak to every mountain. We command mountains to be removed tonight yes. out of the yes. lives of your people, O oh God, in the name of in Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. God, we come against every sickness. Yes. We come against every disease. Yes, we come God. against every foul spirit of affliction and infirmity. And we command you to loose your hold yes. of the bodies of, of God's people tonight. Yes, in Jesus. the name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. Father God, we belong to you. Yes. And Father God, we praise you for wisdom yes. to know what to put into our bodies for optimal yes. functionality. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ. We praise you, Father God, that the works of the enemy have yes. already been destroyed. Because the word of God declares that Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Yes, and so, God, tonight we praise you. Lord God, that the windows of heaven are open. Yes, it's open God. over us. Yes. Oh, God, we are prophesying yes. under an open heaven. Yes. God, let there be no blockages, no barricades, yes. no stumbling stones. Yes. God, that will be able to stay in our pathway. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send forth the power yes. of God to begin to touch every person yes. on this line tonight. God, let your anointing make the difference in their life. Yes. Break every yoke. Destroy yes. every fetter. Yes. Break every chain tonight. Yes. In the name of Jesus in Christ. Of God, Jesus. we come against gossip and slander and defamation. Yes. We come against false accusation and character assassination. Yes. We come against opposition. We come against competition. We break it now by the power 
of the living God tonight. Let the purity uh, of God begin to rest in the church. Uh, yes, may the, be, the body of believers begin to cry out uh, yes. for purity. Uh, God, yes. may we cry out uh, for, for purity of heart uh, and cleanness of hands. Uh, God, may we hear from you. Uh, may there be a direct line from heaven uh, yes. over your people tonight. Uh, right, may, right. Your, may you speak to your yes. people by this word. Yes. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome, O Rabashata. Rebababa Sheketanabuhoya. I break every glass ceiling, every iron membrane that stands over us, and I command it to be removed. Be thou removed by the power of the living God. Radabaso, Rebebebebeso, Ramamamandirio de Naburiana Labaso, Rekabaha. Father God, begin to anoint your people now. Begin to anoint us, Father, as we take this new seat in this new season. God, begin to anoint your people afresh right now, oh God, for the level of blessing that we're about to uh, embrace, that we're about to come into. God, you said you will not have us to be ignorant of the enemy's devices. Therefore, God, we decree and declare that every Judas is removed from our pathway. Yes, right we now, decree God. and declare in the name of Jesus Christ yes, that every Cain is removed from our pathway. In yes, the name God. of Jesus, of every Delilah is removed Move from our pathway in the yes, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every Ahivatov and Absalom uh, is removed from our pathway. Uh, yes, every Sambala, Tobias, and Gershom uh, is removed from our pathway uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every Ahivatov, uh, every Vashti, come on, somebody. Yes, oh, Jesus. Rabbi Shande, every Haman, Rabbi Baba Baseya. Yes, Jesus. Yes, every God. defying spirit that has come up against the body of Christ yes, we God. cancel your assignment now right in the now. name of Jesus in take the on the fire of, of the living God all demonic and household evil that yes. has been released against us every foul spirit of witchcraft yes. that is manifesting in demonic sicknesses that yes. cannot be diagnosed Satan the Lord himself that rebuke you loose your hold you foul demon yes. in the name of Jesus in Christ God, I decree and declare tonight that the devil and all of his imps, God, and the demons from the regions of the six regions of the underworld, they will not be able to penetrate. Yes. Hallelujah. They will not be able to infiltrate yes. into the lives of your people tonight. God, take us higher. Yes. Take us to a realm where the enemy yes. cannot find us. Yes. God, take yes. us to a place, God, where we are yes. in you. We are shielded. Yes. The Bible says that you are our strong tower. Yes. The righteous run into God and we find safety. God, hide us in safety from them that buffer us, oh God. Father, God, anoint us to walk over serpents and scorpions uh, yes. and over all powers of darkness uh, and they shall do us no harm uh, God we are standing on your word tonight uh, God we are believing you for recovery uh, for those who are recovering from surgery uh, we're believing you for restoration uh, from yes. those that have suffered losses uh, yes. we're believing you God for open doors and overflow yes. for those that have suffered detriment and set back yes. in the name of in Jesus name Christ of Jesus. Yes. oh Reba so God, we release salvation and deliverance yes. over every family member that is bound by addiction. Yes. Whether that's a smoking addiction, whether that's a drinking addiction, whether that's a lying addiction, yes. whether that's a, a, a pornographic addiction, yes. a sexual addiction. Oh God, every demonic generational addiction that has them bound. God, tonight we call them free. Yes. So somebody come in agreement right now. Yes. The spirit of poverty yes. is being broken off your bloodline right now. Last year was the last year that people were going to have anything negative to say about what is being done in your life by God. Come on somebody. Somebody begin to bless God. Yes. Yes. May God open our eyes and show us those who are truly with us. Yes. Those who are truly standing with us. Yes. And the fake people who are trying to infiltrate our circles. God open our Spiritualize that we yes. may see them. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Father God, tonight I call for yes. divine connections like David yes. and Jonathan in the yes. lives of your people. God, send the right people in their lives to be a help to them, to build them, to celebrate them, to bless their lives, oh God. We come against every demonic entrapment. We come against every demonic snare of the devil. Satan, you are bound now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose our children. Loose our children from every demonic relationship that is not of God. Loose our children. God, give them husbands and wives yeah, that yeah. serve you that yeah. walk in the fear of the Lord God yeah, teach God. our children to love yeah. you God give them a heart to see yeah, your God. truth oh God, yeah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God tonight we praise you yeah. that your spirit will move over our homes and there will be no yeah. one to break in and to steal 
God, I release a force field of the fence and the fire of God yeah. around every home represented on this line yeah. tonight. God, I decree and declare they will suffer no loss in this holiday season. No man yeah. will, 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 will be watching the house to steal from them. Yeah. We bind the eyes of the bandit. Yes. In we bind the, the hands of the bandits the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes. We praise your Father God for the angels of the Lord yes. are being dispatched right now to every home yes. that is represented on this line. Come on, yes. somebody. Glory Hallelujah. God. Hear the Lord say he's getting ready to clean yes. your houses up. Yes. 2019 ain't going to meet you living the way you live in yes. all these past decades. God say he's getting ready to clean your house up. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to raise a praise, begin to glorify yes. the Lord. God, I cover the men. Yes. I cover the seed. Yes. God, I cover the husbands. I cover the brothers. Yes. I cover cover the sons tonight. We come yes. right. I cover the seed. Yes. I cover them. Yes. I cover the men, oh God. Father, yes. you would raise them up to be the men you called them to be. God, break off generational curses. Yes. Break off generational spirits of inheritance that have hindered their destiny. God, I ask you to, to bless them right now and cause them to know who they are. Yes. Adam, where are you? Rababashe. May they answer the call of God. Rababashe. Rokondo lobo sikishanai. Adam, where are you? Rebecca Sayas, yeah. the Spirit of the Lord yeah. is moving over your life as God yeah. moved over the garden and look for Adam. Yeah. Adam, where are you? Rebecca Shai. Rebeboshike. He kondri o shabai. Right now, mighty angels of the living God, yes. I release angels with fiery swords yes. to war against every witch and to war against every warlock, every sorcerer and demon. Yes. We break your arm. You foul marine spirits. We break your arm. Rakadaba. Rokondobos, every witch. We overturn your cauldron and your pots, O Raka. Rekota Bikase. Every wizard, we break your wand. Ikasha. We tear your books. Iko Raka. Ikasha Kataba. Ronde Besoto Raka Yamande Bose. God put the witches and the warlocks in fear of who you are in us. Ikanaba Shata. Borekindabasaya. God, they've gone to the witch, witchcraft worker for us for the last time. Borekad Namasuya. God, your word yeah. says, by the same way that the Spirit yeah. came, yeah. send it back, God. I send it back oh, to the God. senders. Somebody begin yeah. to decree and declare, I send oh, it back God. to the senders. Yeah. I cover marriages on this line tonight. Yeah. Those whom God has joined together, yeah. let no man separate. Yeah. I come against every demon that is fighting in the area of finances. Yeah. Yeah. I command those demons assigned to your mother. Money to go. Yes. Roko tarabase. Right now. Ronde de de bi bahaya. Oh, ra ba 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 se ye ra ma so rebeke. Ure masaya. Where are the chauffeurs, said the Lord? Yes. Where are those that have vowed to open their mouths and make yes. loud their mouths a trumpet in the land that I may use them? Reka shatale de bi osaba. Where are you, rebebe shatale la bokos for the eyes of the Lord? Oh, am I moving to and fro the earth? He's looking for one. Yeah. He wants to show himself strong in you. Yeah. Come on, people of God. Hey, the Lord says he's about to disappoint those who thought you were going down. Every demonic newspaper that was about to go to print over your life. Right now, I set it afire. Yes. No demonic news is going to go out about your life. Yes. No more demonic hindrance through lies, yes. through jealousy and envy. Roko tabashata. I break it tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God. Right now, Father God, rule and reign. Father, we are in the end time. God sent a paradigm shift. Lord God, to ensure the positioning, God, of your leaders, especially, God, in a time where leadership is under attack, when leaders, God, everything we say, everything we do is under the microscope, God, in this hour, in this time, shield your people, oh God. Oh God, tonight I bless you for the power of the living God that shall invade 
our God, every, every crevice of our lives. Holy Spirit, I give you the right to interfere in the midst of everything that concerns us. Yes, God. Father God, as our children go into these schools and to these colleges, Father, I said you cover them from untimely death. Our God, we cover them. From demonic shootouts, we cover them. From being being put out of school, we cover them. From being in the low statistic bracket, we cover them now. Come on, somebody, begin to cover your children tonight. Begin to cover your spouse. Begin to cover your mate tonight. God, I thank you in this hour you would give your people the strength to stand up and come out of compromise. Give your people the strength to stand up and come out of living in sin. God! Give them the strength to love you enough to say bye-bye, world. And everything that is in it, I speak against every demon assigned to your destiny tonight. I come against every demonic spirit that is holding you back. You are making no progress. You're just going around in a circle. Ain't nothing happening. Every, every year at the same time, you find yourself in the same place. I break demonic cycles tonight. Bad times, hard times, struggling times. I break it by the power of the Lord God tonight. Break the cycle. Break the cycle. May the fire of God be applied to every demonic cycle in your life. And may it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Or oh, somebody ought to be giving God glory right there. I cover vehicles tonight from accidents, from crazy accidents. I release angels assigned to every vehicle, to every person on this line right now. Hear hey, the Lord say, begin to seek me at an all time new level. For the enemy is seeking those who he may devour at, 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 in, 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 in secret places. This is the hour, said the Lord God, to turn your face to the wall and seek my face as you've never sought. For I have great things for thee, said the Lord God Almighty, but thou must seek first my face. God give us your people the mind to begin to seek you first and put you first in everything knowing that everything else will fall into place God quicken our discernment in this season yes God I come against spiritual blindness over the body of believers tonight I come against spiritual deafness and retardation in yes. the name of Jesus. The devil is counting on the yes. body of Christ remaining in the dark and retarded. But I come against every retarding spirit yes. in the name of Jesus in Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God. What the enemy is meant for bad. God is turning it around. Somebody, if I was you, I'd bless God right there. Yes. God, I bless God right now for the turnaround. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, somebody. Begin to bless God. Begin to worship. Yes, begin Jesus. to honor him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to magnify the Lord. Begin to thank him for yes. his goodness. Begin to magnify him. Yes, he God. is all you need him to be every day of the week. If I yes. was you, I would come up with a real praise. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your yes. marriage is under attack. Glory to God. Yes. <coughs> your ministry is under attack. Enemy is trying to shut your ministry down. Yes. I decree and I prophesy life over your ministry. I prophesy life over your business tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, the devil got to give you double for your trouble. Hallelujah, Jesus. I decree and declare it to be so. Oh God, we thank you. For economic shiftings. Even in this season of these elections, God. Father, your word declares that you have the power. You alone have the power to put up and to set down. And so we stand on the word in Psalm 75, knowing that promotion comes from above. It's not from the east, the west, yes. or from the south. It yes. coming from the Lord. And so, Father, yes. we honor you that your will shall be done. Rabate, ma, rebon, dabaki. And you will position the people that you have ordained to be set in place. I decree that there will be no demonic assembly and no witchcraft will be able to deviate the will of God over any nation represented yes. here tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. God, your word says, where the wicked rule, vile men walk in the way. Ah, God. 
And when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. God calls the people, your people of the nations to begin to rejoice. Because God, I believe as in the days of Jezebel, when she thought she had destroyed all of the prophets, you had your prophets in the place of the cave. You had them in the place of the crino. I believe, God, this is the same time when everybody is saying, where is righteous governance? Where, where are the people that will, will bring righteous governance to the earth? I believe, oh God, that you have your righteous remnant. You have them in political arenas. You have them in the church sphere and arena. We, I believe, yes, God, yes. in every industry, you have your people in yes, place, oh yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. I bless you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That yes. even as you, you bring the strategic yes. move, oh God, yes. that you will quicken the eyes of believers to yes. see what you are doing over their yes. nation. May they be slow to speak, quick to hear. Hallelujah. Rabate ba shikama, rabato rebe. Ah ya babo shike. Remember mendele le biosaya. God is waiting for his people yeah. to return to him. He wants your heart back in the right place. Yeah. He wants your heart loving him first. Yeah. Not getting up first thing in the morning and looking for a text from a woman or a man. I love you, baby. Good morning. Beautiful. Hi, yeah. handsome. Yeah. God is God doesn't want that. He yeah. wants you to come out of these fleshly works. Yes. He wants you to draw nigh to him that he could draw yes. nigh unto you. Uh, because the things that you're looking for in the earth realm and the flesh realm, they will profit you nothing, says God. Yes. For you've traded. <laughs> you've traded that which is holy for that which will not profit. Yes. Yes. Mighty God tonight. Oh God, I repent on behalf of my nation. And my nation's leaders, oh God. God, I repent on behalf of this nation that I'm in and the leaders of this nation, God. Yeah. Forgive them, for they know not what they do to the people, especially to the righteous. Yeah. God, we leave them on the altar and we bless you, God, for having your divine will over them. Yeah. And God, tonight I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The, words, the word of God declares, blessed are they that pray for the peace of yeah. Jerusalem. Yeah. God, we thank you tonight. For I believe, God, that you have come in the room. I believe that you've come into the rooms of every situation and every person's life that is present. God, I believe tonight that you've already opened the door and the ways are already being made. And, and these people are feeling the breakthrough and the release from the hand of God. Father God, only you can do it. Hallelujah. God, right now I seal this prayer under the blood. And I break in mind every demonic attempt of the enemy to bring backlash, retaliation, scandal, disgrace, ricochet, or any, any, any form of counterattack, re-strategization, or demonic tactics. Devil, it will not work. For the voice of the blood has been applied and employed on our lives. We are covered and smothered under the blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you for it, God. If I was you, I would give God a praise right there. I begin to bless God because breakthrough is happening right now. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm feeling breakthrough in my spirit. There's some yeah. things that were supposed to happen months ago. Come on, somebody. There were some things that you were waiting on God for. <clears throat> and God said right now, the release is, listen, the anointing that's coming down right now in this, this virtual prayer line. Is the release that you've been waiting on. Some of you have been waiting on for direction. You say, God, I, we, I need to know if to go left or right. Whether to open my business. Come on, somebody. God say, move forward. Open your business. Come on. Some of y'all say, God, I need to know whether to go and marry this person. Come on, somebody. There are three women on here. You say, God, I need to know whether to marry this man. And you're going to know. before that. If this is for the one who is, who is going to be getting married. Before the end of this year, that man is going to come to you and ask you to be his wife. That's all you're going to know is God. You don't have to give and drop no hints. You don't have to say nothing. God is about to move swiftly. And he's about to ask you, will you be my wife? Or however they ask you. Amen. This is that hour, that time, and that season. You don't have to worry about what people are doing. The enemy want to stockpile issues and stockpile situations to make it seem impossible. But I remind you tonight that Yahweh Elohim, mighty God, with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I answer you tonight mm -hmm. on behalf of the Father God, Yahweh Elohim. No, there's nothing too hard for the Lord. With God, all things are possible. The Bible says everything oh. that is impossible with man is yeah. possible with God. In other words, if man can't handle it, give it to God. Come on, somebody. 
Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm giving it all to the Father. Come on. When it gets too weighty, when I got to talk too much, I just give it to God. Come on. Because I, I can't, I, I can't, I, I can't. And listen, I don't take no stress. When I got to talk too much, when I got to deal with something too, I said, listen, your Father God, I give it to you. And we as people of God, we as people of God, we have to learn how to, to give it to God. Amen, somebody. We have to learn how to come into that place where we say, Father, I trust you. I trust you implicitly. I rely on you totally. Anybody on this line tonight really trust God? That even if, if your job lets you go tomorrow, you say, God, I know my bills will be paid. My needs will be met. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Can you still trust God? Even in hard situations, uh, I'm prophesying that. I can't say that in the name of Jesus, but I'm saying, can you trust God? Even in hard circumstances, man. You say, God, I love you no matter what it looks like. Yeah. No matter how, how bad it feels. Yeah. No matter how many issues pressing on you. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. Somebody hit that share button. We're about to go up and, and, and we go, we're going up tonight. We're going a little higher. Glory to God. Because yes. God began to speak to me about what's taking over the pulpit. What has crept into the church unawares. And tonight we're going to deal with that demonic spirit. We're going to deal with it. And we're going to shut it down. Come on, somebody. Amen. Why? Because when you go and sit up in these edifices that they name church. Because we are the church. We are the ecclesia of God. Uh -huh. When we congregate and we get together, it is church. Yes. In this moment, we have joined forces. We have joined arm. Yes. We are joined by spirit, praise God, and we yes. are church. Yes. Come on. But the enemy wants to show his head. So tonight, we're going to go into the book of Acts. Somebody grab your Bible uh -huh. with me tonight. We're going to go into the book of Acts chapter 8. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to go into the book of Acts chapter 8. Glory to God. Yes. And I believe that even as this word is going forth, that every plan of the enemy over the structured church, over the embodied church, meaning you and I, amen, that every plan of the enemy will fall off tonight. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to be reading from verse 6 of Acts chapter 8. And I'm going to be reading all the way to the end. I want you to stay with me. It's a powerful word. You don't want to miss a moment of it. This is the most important part of why we get together. We bless God for the prophetic. You know, and I had to remind someone the other day that the prophetic was made and instituted by God for believers, not for unbelievers. Uh -huh. And there's so many unbelievers because there is a force field, a wall, a virtual place that separates us. What happens? People get prophecies and they're, they're not really serving God. And then when it doesn't come to pass, you're asking why. But Paul told Timothy, you got to war a good warfare after the prophecies that have gone on before you. And if you're, not in a, if you're not in God, you won't be in a position to do any kind of warfare. <laughs> come on, somebody. How are you going to receive? Uh, amen, Bishop. Acts chapter 8, starting from verse 6. And it says, The crowds gathered and were paying close attention to everything that Philip said as they heard the message and saw the miraculous signs which he was doing, validating his message. For unclean spirits or demons, mm -hmm. shouting loudly, were coming out of many who were possessed. Mm -hmm. And many who had been paralyzed and lame were healed. And so there was a great rejoicing in that city. And now there was a man named Simon who previously practiced magic in the city. And amazed the people of Samaria, claiming to be someone great. They all paid a great deal of attention to him, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is what is called the great power of God. They were paying attention to him because for a long time he had mystified and dazzled them with his magic. But when they believed Philip as he preached the good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were being baptized, both men and women. Even Simon believed Philip's message of salvation. And after being baptized, he continued on with Philip as he watched the, at the attesting signs and great miracles taking place. He was constantly amazed. And when the, the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them and they came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For he had not yet fallen on any of them. They had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus. as his possession. And then Peter and John laid their hands on them one by one and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money. 
saying, give me this authority and power too, so that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, may your money be destroyed along with you. <laughs> because you you thought you could buy this free gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this matter because your heart, your motive, your purpose behind it is not right before God. Mm. So repent of this wickedness of yours and pray to the Lord that if possible, this thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are provoked by bitterness and bound by sin. But Simon answered, pray to the Lord for me, both of you, so that nothing of what you have said will come upon me. Mighty God tonight. Yes. I believe that's an astounding word. Somebody give God praise. Yes. And as I was reading, it came into my spirit. What I have is not for sale. Mm. What I have is not for sale. Mm. The Lord said to me, the spirit of demonic mysticism has crept up into the walls of the church. It has taken a, a seat and it is not seated a, or in the pew. It has taken a leadership position in the church. It has taken the bird's eye view. You know, when you are leading the church, most of the time you get to sit in the front. You get to sit on the pulpit so that you can get the bird's eye view of what's happening in the church to be the eyes and the ears. Amen. Of the pastor, senior pastor, whoever you're serving, the bishop, the apostle, whoever's over that place, that particular ecclesia and house. So here it is now, we have a man named Simon, nicknamed the Sorcerer, Jesus. who has been practicing magic all of his life. He gained fame, he gained riches, he gained increase and abundance through the talent, we're going to call it a talent, through the talent of using sorcery and magic to wow people, quote unquote. And, and, and understand this now, he was not just doing it for a short time, it was his lifeline. Jesus. It was the way that he made money, and he, made, he, was, he, he had a lucrative business doing things in the occult. And all of a sudden now, he sees, see, he's identifying with power. Understand, he's a person who's infused and being noted and been, become a notoriety based on quote-unquote power, but we're going to call that pseudo-power because it's false power. Amen. Is not the real deal. And so here it is. He's seeing this power, desiring this power. He's seeing what's happening. And so what happens? He's touched. He said, oh, I believe the message of salvation. Let me tell you how it comes into the church. And so now Simon the sorcerer, he comes into the church. And the Bible says that he, he, he remains with them. He stayed with them. He continued with them. He became a builder in the ministry. And he watched as signs and great miracles were taking place. Yes. Can I speak to pastors? Can I speak to those in charge of ministries tonight? You have to listen. I know it's great when you see numbers coming in and people are being saved. But you got to wonder and you got to step back and you have to say, God, quicken my discernment and allow me to see what is operating in these people. What demon space is, is operating in the belly of these people? Because yes. the Bible say Simon the sorcerer got saved. Simon the sorcerer came into church, became a builder, and all he did was watch. He didn't do anything else. He watched. Why? He was always in awe and one. You got to wonder why these people join in your ministry. Why are they enjoying themselves to you? Is it just because of your prophetic gifting and your flow? Is it just because, because you have an adequate flow, um, 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 you know, an elegant flow of the words and your great orator? And when you take the mic, you bring the rhymes and, and you can get everybody hype and make them feel real good. Why are these people following your ministry? Because Simon the sorcerer was saved in church and still he had the heart of a sorcerer. Mm. People could be saved and in church, come on somebody, and oh. still have the heart of a sorcerer. Oh my God. Come on somebody. He was still operating, he stopped operating in the natural. He dropped off the tools in the natural, but his heart still had the heart of a sorcerer. Jesus. Come on somebody. When you're sitting next to people in church, you need to begin to cover yourself because you don't know what these other people sitting next to you, amen, been coming out of or been dabbling in. Jesus. And the Bible says that he made a big mistake. He wanted to play the price is right. Come on, he wanted to play it with the wrong people, Bishop. Jesus. He gonna say, listen, I see what y'all doing and I want that thing. Here's some money. I want that power that you have. 
Because he realized that the power that he quote unquote operated in, because it was a pseudo power, it was nothing to be compared with the power that came from our father. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 13 verse 1, what does it say? All powers that exist, what? All powers that exist, well, let me read it for you. They emanate or originate with God. I'm going to read from the King James. It says, let every, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Yes. For there is no power but the powers that be of God. Mm. The powers that be are ordained mm. of mm. God. And so Simon the sorcerer, mm. now saved with the heart of the sorcerer, mm. he was experiencing the true power of God at full blast. Yes. He did not understand the concept. And see, this is why teaching us to come in the church. He did not understand the concept of what he was doing and what was happening. He was making a comparison. Oh, they, they call it the Holy Ghost. But I, I, I see that there's a power that I can use in the realm of sorcery. Yeah. And so what has happened is, let me tell you how it creeps in there. Come on. You know what mysticism is? Mysticism has to do with mind, illusions, contemplations, mixing ideology, mixing your faith, your belief, your religion with that which is the occult. And so that's why it's so easy for a man or woman or man or a man of God to get on the pulpit and preach and then have an adulterous relationship. Or be while his wife is at work, be looking at other women's backsides all day. Jesus. Can I say backsides on the on come the thing? On, come, sure. on, come on. Come on, somebody. These big booty judies all over the place. Oh, oh. Huh? The spirit of lust and crept into the heart of the man of God. The Bible say that lust is first conceived where in the heart. So if your heart conceive it, you've already sent time to repent. Yes. The spirit of mysticism, demonic mysticism, because the enemy wants you to feel like you were in the razzle and the dazzle and God is with you. Yes. When you are falling far from God. Mm. Mysticism comes when we think we are friends with God. Jesus. We will never be friends with the Father. He is God. He is sovereign. He is one majestic Lord. I don't know about you, but when I'm in the closet on the floor and the presence of the Lord comes in, I can't do nothing but cry and empty out myself before God's presence. Who are these people to feel you could just walk up and, and, and you know say what you want to say and do what you want to do? No. Simon the sorcerer wanted to play prices, right? Baby, you're in the wrong place. Because yes. immediately Peter rebuked him. You want your money purse with you. Go die with your money. That's it. But can I tell you the sad part about this scenario? Let's bring it to modern day times. There's so many pastors. Who would have taken that as a seed offering? Holy Ghost, tell me that today. Oh, he said, these pastors, them, and apostles, and these prophets, them, they after the money. He said, they've forgotten me and want traded all for money because the ones that I have blessed, the ones that I have opened to the world, the ones that I've made global, the ones that I've caused to come into light and favor are eluding them. And so they're looking at Bishop. They're looking at the ones yeah. that drive in the Bentleys. They're looking at the yeah. ones that live in the gated community. They're yeah. looking at the ones that have thousands in the membership. And they are what? They are jealous and envious. Jesus. The demon is called covetousness. Jesus. Covetousness breeds compromise. Mm. Huh? And so that's why evil mysticism, come on. I know, I know a lot of apostles, male apostles, when I was single, they used to come on to me, try to get you in the bed. Oh, yes. Jesus. Come on, somebody. Demonic mysticism. Jesus. But can I tell you the hand of the Lord is getting ready to smite and expose. We've been hearing expose, expose, expose. But now, this is the next level. People of God carry this word. The rest of y'all prophets who like to pick it up. Yes. After God exposes it, he will smite them. Jesus. Smite their bodies with sickness. Smite their life so they could lose everything. Some of them will even lose their life. Because when you play with God... Come on, somebody. You're going to play forever. Mm -hmm. That's why as pastors and leaders and prophets and pastors and bishops and teachers and evangelists, you are part of the fivefold. You need to be empty and out your soul and repenting on a daily yeah. basis, saying, God, show me me. Lord, show me the, the wrong in me. Show me. If any evil in me, show me. If any yeah. wickedness in me, oh God. Yeah. How can you pour it into God's people if you're a contaminated vessel? Jesus. Don't come lay your hands on me and use a cussing demon. Get away from me. Jesus. Don't listen, don't come give me no prophetic word and you can't keep your zip up or your skirt up. Listen, don't speak to me. We don't have nothing to say unless you're in a place of purity. And God got to show me that I'm right. And if I'm in a place and someone is ministering and they ain't right, I tell God, keep them away from me. Let their eyes be closed and shut in the realms of the spirit concerning me. Because I need no contaminated word. Keep it. Jesus. I'll get it on the closet on the floor. Jesus. 
time for these people. You so hungry and itchy air. Yeah. All you want is a prophetic word, prophetic word, prophetic word, prophetic word. And that person pouring into you, pouring in evil, wickedness, and damnation. Yes. Can you go wonder why your life's so jacked up? He yes. coach. Reba shut up. Yes. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes. Holy Ghost yes. put them on the run. Yes. So Simon the sorcerer, he got saved, Bishop. So he got saved and he came into the church. And so he's wearing the garment of salvation now. He called a Messiah. Come on, Bishop. Yes, yes, yes. He's wearing this garment named salvation, but he still has the heart of a sorcerer. Oh, my God. And I got to speak to the fivefold leaders tonight. You know why? Jesus. Because the Bible says he got saved and he stayed with them. Jesus. He got saved and he stayed with them, which means he walked with them for a little while. Mm. But Peter and John didn't see his heart. Not in the beginning. It wasn't until he opened his mouth. Okay. If I was you fivefold, I begin to pray over the, yes. the flock that God has given me. Lord, let yes. them open their mouth. God, let me hear what is in their heart. The Bible says, oh, mighty God. Every Come lead. on, somebody, walk yes. with me. Walk yes. with me. Come on, walk with me. Matthew yes. 6, 21. For where a man's treasure is, there will his heart be also. The Bible also says in the book of Matthew, amen, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You're yes. going to find out what is in a man when he open up his mouth. Yes. Don't mind these people talking, but they so sweetly say they're full of the devil. Yes. If the first level of confrontation lead them to cuss and they want to fight and carry on bad, they still in a place of needing deliverance from God. Yes. Come on, somebody. I know plenty of apostles who used to break out and cuss and right? We used to be shocked. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Uh -huh. We, 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 we got to come to a place where we are consecrated. Yes. Where we are careful about who we are in God because of who we represent. Yes. You don't represent yourself, honey. Mm -hmm. You may have a cute shape, nice face, all the blessings that you can count. But at the end of the day, you're accountable to the Father. Ain't about how you look. It's, how you're, it's the condition of your spirit, man. Are you pure? Jesus. Are you holy? Jesus. Are you living anything worth living? Are you the example God called you to be to the flock God give you or to the body of believers? Some of us don't need no flock because we can't be trusted with none. Come on, nobody. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh-oh. When I started pastoring, I didn't want a pastor. Apostle DeMarco Grant gave me one prophetic word and I can be honest, I rebuked him openly. I said, I do not receive it. He said, woman of God, get ready for the shift of God over your life. I'm looking at him and he says to me, woman of God, get ready. God is going to shift you into pastoring. And I said, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Mm. I didn't want to pastor nobody. I listen, yeah, I call me the no-name prophetess. God, give me any assignment. I'd go to the height and the depth, Lord, wherever you're calling me. And you know what? God had already showed me, but I was running from that. You know me? I will run. Yeah. I will run. But in a matter of weeks, that word came to pass, man. In a matter of weeks, I found myself at the place of the water crying out to the Lord. And the Lord said, I will. I Listen, he said, there was a people that I will assign to you. He said, and this is the time and the season I need you to gather them up. Or this will happen to them. And this will happen to them. And this will happen to them. And as these people came into my space, God would tell me that person. Uh, is coming that person is coming and so I, I i would say to some people i can see you again soon you know and they say what you mean don't worry about that i can see you again soon we, we can be together soon a couple of weeks i see them and they and once they come they stay and all of a sudden ministry sprung up for me yes because my heart was right before the lord my god can god trust you to lead a flock tonight Jesus. some of y'all sitting in some churches and, and listen y'all under the the influence of demonic mysticism you're in a place of wow and shock and awe because guess what? The, if the pastor over you ain't living right, and some of y'all know he ain't, and she ain't, and all the ain'ts and the flanks, amen. And on top of that, whatever's on them gonna fall on you. I found that to be the case. That's why I was always so careful who I enjoyed myself with. Yeah. I ain't gonna rub shoulders with you, I ain't gonna be friends with you, we ain't gonna be seen together, we ain't gonna ride together, nothing of that. <laughs> huh? Spirits is a catching thing. Yes, yes, That's why I'm yes. careful even with my husband and my son. I didn't tell my husband, I said, when God cut off a person from you, leave that door closed. Don't reopen it. Cut it off. God doesn't show you the heart of that person. That ain't changing. Yeah. That's the Simon, the sorcerer demon. Yeah. Keep it right outside the gate on the boundaries of the property. Bump, bump. See you later. God bless you. Yeah. Some people you just got to put outside the gate. Definitely. Look how quickly Peter rebukes saw Simon, the sorcerer. He ain't dropped that title till, till verse 24. Huh? He wanted what they had. Yes. Come on, somebody. But can I tell you, the anointing of God, the miracle record power of God, the very essence of God, the power of God, presence of God on your life, it ain't yours. It, ain't for sale. it was a gift. Yes. God gifted it to you. Yes. 
And like I tell you tonight, since it was a gift, I'm not, I'm not in a position to repackage it. It's not for sale. Somebody type that in there. It's not for sale. Yeah. When you done pay a price for the anointing on your life. When you done been through near death experiences. Come on, when you done down to losing everything. Come on, and God got to raise you up from nothingness. Come on, somebody. When you in a place, where, come on, where every friend yeah. became a Judas. Not one or two, every friend. Yes. Glory, God. Because God was blessing you, they were so jealous. Yes. And people trying to walk with me, and every time I go buy a new shoe, they go buy the same shoe. How you gonna walk with me, man? You 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 full of something, man. God, relax yourself. Yeah. You need to get your heart right. Jesus. Come on, somebody. Peter and John don't know what Peter. He rebuke him. He said, "Guess what? I gotta read this out. May you and your money be destroyed with you." He said, "Because you have no part or share in this matter, because your heart, the motive behind what you're asking, ain't right. God is about to expose the motives." Of the people. See, that's the difference between someone who is living right and somebody who ain't living right. That's demonic mysticism. The heart. The heart will cause these men and women of God to have delusions. To make them feel as if they're still in a place in God and committing all kinds of sin and contaminating the pulpit. Can we clean it up, church? Get right, church. Let's go home. Remember now, God, he is what? He, he's coming back a second time. And what is he saying? He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Too much spots and too much wrinkles in the body of Christ. It's time for us to clean it up. And so Simon the sorcerer got rebuked instantly. Peter said to him, listen here, my brother. You need to repent. Glory God. Repent of this wickedness of yours. Uh, and pray to the Lord yes. that maybe it, it may be possible. This thought from your wicked heart. Because see, that's where the thoughts are conceived in your heart. Yes. When you're thinking evil about somebody, it's coming from your heart. You got to watch these people, man, who you're dealing with. Say, God, surround me with people with the right heart. I want no evil heart people around me. Come on, somebody. <laughs> he said, because I, I perceive. For the first time, now he could see. Yes. Peter couldn't see. The heart of, the, of Simon the sorcerer until this moment. He said, for I see now that you are provoked by bitterness and bound by sin. But I prophesy tonight that God would open up your spiritual eyes as at tonight. That yes. you will be able to see the wickedness in the heart of the people. Yes. Before it manifests against you. Because that's all evil and wickedness. And people come to do in your life. The enemy will manifest it against you to, to try to destroy you. To bring a baden and a Paulian spirits to creep into your life. Come on, somebody. Some people, they say they're on your chair and team. But when you look around, there ain't no place to be found. Hmm. My God. You need something they ain't never there. They ain't never got it. My God. But when you get it all, it's honky-dory. Yes. You got to watch these things, people of God. Huh? The Lord said, I, I touched one of them where the people, they, they're jealous of your anointing. They want it. It's not for sale. Mm -hmm. My anointing is not for sale. I buy it. I, listen, I, I, I went through some hell and some high water. Yes. I, I went through some Hellenistic things yes. to get the oil of God on my life. Yes. I suffered for it. Huh? Can you suffer a while and walk out worthy of the oil that God will pour on you? Come on, somebody. It's time for the people of God to line up their life and live right. So Simon the sorcerer got rebuked. This is the place we at right now. And verse 24, Simon catch himself. So now we're going to drop the title, the sorcerer. Simon said, pray to the Lord for me, both of you. He said, I in so much trouble, I need double prayers, Bishop. Yes, yes. Huh? Because yes. honestly, because he had practiced sorcery for so long, he didn't even know that the wickedness and the evil were so deeply rooted in him. That's why so much of these people could be around here prophesying and do all the rest and practicing the most mess. But people who know them intimately know their life ain't nothing. Jesus. Don't even receive from them. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you can't receive from people like that. Huh? You ain't you ain't living nothing. Don't, don't, don't come to me with it. Because I may pull an open rebuke. You don't know what's coming out of these lips. Long as I speak to my daddy and my daddy tell me I can open up my mouth, I can open up my mouth. You don't know. Oh, I got the spirit of boldness on me. I come out the womb bowl, ready to take the devil down. That's why he tried to kill me from infancy. But I am still here. Huh? Mighty assignment to be fulfilled in the time to come. Thank God for his grace and mercy and his favor. Yes. That has allowed great doors of opportunity to minister yes. to his people. Yes. It has come. 
Glory to God. God began to show me today. He said, I want you to share with these people my heart. And I want you to hear the heart of the Lord. He said, many of these people on these TV, television stations, representing gospel stations, say he's not with them. Jesus. He said, these people is get on there and all they're about is the money. And he began to show me behind the scenes. They actually talk about the money before they go on. This is about the money. You got to get the money and you don't forget the money. And it's, you got to do the money. And God said to me, that he is about to cause them to be. Listen here. Mm -hmm. I'll move, I will say this to you. A, a move of God is going to come to sit the CEOs down. So that the righteous remnants are the ones that God has really infused with his power and his presence. Who ain't care about no money. Who really understand the power and the flow of God. Let me tell you, Daniel was the one, you know, who had the vision about all these satellites in the heavens. All these satellite things he could not explain. These were the satellites in the heavens. We are now moving from away from the phys physical satellites into um, infrared waves and, and, and microwaves and, 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 and data and, and Wi-Fi and all these invisible waves. All these mechanisms that Daniel didn't understand, but God trusted him with them. These are the times that we are living in. And God said, I'm allowing them to come into the place of technology, but it's for the furtherance of the gospel. But instead of trying to further the gospel, all they're doing is pushing the prosperity message and souls are dying. Jesus. Some of those people who be calling there for prophecy, they don't need prophecy. They need to live right. Mm. And if you're really hearing from God, you will tell them you need to get it together, man. The other day somebody called me. I tell him, I said, you calling because you want a prophetic word from me. But you can't get a prophetic word from me because you need your... I said, listen here. Even if I wanted to prophesy to you, can I tell you, you too low. I tell him just like that. You need to come on up a little higher. Sometimes I get on this line and there's such a Holy Ghost demand on me, on the line. Sometimes I would get into the service when we go to church and I would begin to try to preach the word. Couldn't even preach because of the, the, um, the, the pull of the prophetic was so strong from the pews. Jesus. And it's time as these prophets, they need to line up. Stop prophesying to all these wayward people. Huh? And if that's the case, you really need your discernment to be quickened. Because you're supposed to be able to discern between those who serve God and those who don't. That's what the Bible say. The Bible is truth. Yes, the Bible say, Bishop, God give us discernment to discern between those that serve God and those that don't. Uh-oh. Almighty God, help us tonight. Help us tonight. Like Simon the sorcerer, you got to come to the place of repentance. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 5.10, whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their increase. This too is meaningless. It's vanity. That's all it is. It's, it's fruitless. Let's stop running after things that don't profit, man. Because when you serve God and you do right, money will find you. I find that the body of believers worry more about money than they worry about anything else. But if you got a relationship with the Father, money should be the last thing you worrying about. Because guess what? Money coming. Mm -hmm. Money coming. For everything that we need, God showed Abraham there was a ram in the thicket. There's always provision, Bishop. Amen. Amen. But can we trust God? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6. I love the scripture. It says, why should fools have money? In hand to buy wisdom when they're not able to understand it. <laughs> oh my God, tonight we need we need to come to a place. We need to become whole. We need to come against the spirit of demonic mysticism that is creeping into the church through magic and occultic works, being diluted and contaminated with theology, bringing delusions to the leaders, allowing them to believe that everything that they sanction is God and it's not. We ought to be careful. We ought to always be mindful of who we are and whose we are. Come on, somebody. Who are you? Who do you represent? Who do you represent? Come on, somebody. Well, tonight I make a firm announcement. The anointing on my life, it's not for sale. If I was you tonight, I'd let that devil know. Somebody type it in there. The anointing on my life, it's not for sale. The gift of God on my life is not for sale. Come on, somebody. Uh, it's time for the church to come out of the place of collusion. Come out of the place of the mire of compromise. It's time to clean it up. 
It's time to clean it up. Some of us love God, but you still love the world. Matthew 6, 24 says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. One version says you cannot serve God and wealth. James 4 and 4 says it like this, You adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility toward God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. It's time to make a choice. You know, when I got saved, I was young. I was in my early 20s when I gave my heart to the Lord. And so that meant that friendships that I, I held near and dear, I had to put them away. And all of a sudden, those friends didn't see me anymore, didn't hear from me anymore. They saw me, I hailed them, whatever. Special times of the year, I might pass by and visit, get a plate of food or whatever, carry something, whatever. But when the Bible says two can't walk together except they agree. If I know me and you ain't on the same line, I ain't coming because I ain't need nobody pulling me down. It's taken me so long to make the process and the process and make progress in God that I'm making. I, I, can't, I can't afford no setbacks. And you all got to learn to, to appreciate the oil of God on your life. Stop putting yourself in a place to lose your oil. Stop putting yourself in a place to be pulled back, pulled down on the backslide, man. Set a standard in Zion. Set a standard in Zion. You know, it's not the time. When we look around, where are the saints? Where are the saints? Yes. Not the ain'ts, Bishop. The Simon the sorcerer was directed to repent yes. as, a, as a servant of the Lord tonight I direct you and myself we go, we're going to do it together we have to repent Yes. we got to repent of any contaminant because sometimes spiritual contaminants natural contaminants they come into our life come on everybody lift your hands where you are Yes. come and say Lord Lord I repent, I repent of allowing the spirit of the world, allowing the spirit of the world to rest upon me. To rest upon me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Purge me. Purge me. Wash me. Wash me. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Renew a right spirit within me. Make me whole. Make me whole. Purify my heart. Purify my heart. That I may hear your voice. I may hear your voice. And rightfully discern. And rightfully discern. Between those that serve you. Between those that serve and you. those that don't. And those that don't. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Come name. on, say amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Hallelujah tonight. We bless God because when repentance comes, blessings can flow. Yes. When repentance comes, doors can open. Yes. When repentance comes, all oh, come on so with joy yes. and happiness. Yes. Y'all been sitting in the ashes for too long. I, I call you to rise. Some of y'all been sitting on the threshing floor, weak yes. and wounded for too long. I command you to rise tonight. In the... <coughs> In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. I command you to rise. God wants more of you. Some of you have been bound too long. God says tonight is your night for release. God yes. says you've been bound by these addictions. You on this line tonight. You say, I'm tired of being bound by this addiction. God said tonight, he's going to take away the desire for the addiction. He's going to break the spirit of addiction. Yes. Whatever that addiction is in your life, it's being broken right yes. now. Come on, somebody begin to give God praise and thanks. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Brianna Simonet, get ready. God says within 10 days, a miracle is getting ready to come to you. A miracle, a financial miracle is about to head to your doorstep. Yes. God said, prepare your heart for it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because he's going to give you favor. Favor in the midst of unspeakable situations. He's going to give you favor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Morning, Burroughs. I hear the Lord say to tell you that he's pleased with your last movements. He's about to cause great things to happen over your household like never before. Amen. And I see a quick trip. And I see the Lord expounding himself in you. And wherever you go, I see you just being the light and being the salt and being the salt and being the light. And I hear the Lord say, he's employing you in this season. A great door is about to open before you. Listen here. So many people are going to be jealous. Hallelujah. But God said to tell you, even in, this, in, the, in the condition that the situation is in, he's able to give you miraculous um, positions. And that's what's happening for you, Monique Burroughs. God is about to give you a miraculous position. Rachel Bastian Dames, get ready, honey. Because I hear the Lord say he's doing a new thing. It's about to spring forth speedily. That which could not be seen, that which could not be told will be seen and told in this season over your life. God say, mark it. Hallelujah. Even in your most intimate place. Yes. You've spoken to the Lord and I can't say what you said, but what I will say, God say he has heard you. Yes. And he will do just what 
you said. Yes. He will do just what you said. You say, God, I, I want to do it. I want this done like this. And God, I need this. And I have to have this like this. And listen, your heart is in a place of purity. Yes. And I hear the Lord say, he's about to give you the desires of your heart. Racial Bastian dams like oh, never yeah, before. Yeah. Get ready to roll something coming out the plastic, honey. Because yes. I see a brand new vehicle coming to you. Amen. I see some reshuffling of the finances. Amen. And I see like a fixed deposit. And this money being moved from one account to the next account. It's not like a consolidation. But God getting ready to gift you with some money. Hallelujah. And I see God giving you wisdom and what to do with it. Rachel Bastian Dames. Listen, Teresa, Karen, Teresa, I see you watching tonight. Don't know who you are. But I hear the Lord saying, blessing, he will bless you and multiplying. He will multiply your hour for struggle. Your hour for being needy is over. This is the time God he's about to bless your hands to be a blessing. Not just to family, but to people who are strange to you. Hallelujah. The gift of, of miracles is upon you. And that's why you had to suffer the way that you suffered and go the way that you went. Hallelujah. Sometimes God would put you on assignment to just go places and watch in certain churches and sit and see. And now God says he's going to bring it all together. For a long time, you were in the potter's house sitting on the potter's wheel. But I hear the Lord say, he's making you whole. Come on, Karen, Teresa. Yeah. God said, he's making you whole. Carmen, Marina, you have been holding on and you have been interceding. But I hear the Lord say, in this last leg, God needs you to shut it down and call a three-day fast. And you will see everything that you've been putting before the Lord. The strongholds need to be broken. Hallelujah. So God says for you, Carmen, Marina, you need to fast before the Lord. And you will see his hand move like never before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sweet lady HD. Sweet lady HD. My God. You, you have such an open repertoire with God. But can I tell you 2019 is the hour and the season God is going to redress you. Redress your business. Redress everything. There's some ideas that God has already given you. Hallelujah. <coughs> God said get ready. Because I see a secondary location for the elite. I know this place is like in a hotel and you're going to, you're going to wonder how this is going to happen. But let me tell you something. God is going to give you favor in a hotel. Amen. And you're going to have a secondary location for the elite. I'm talking about, um, celebrities whoever visiting this hotel and this this resort amen god is getting ready to bless your hands like never before and i see a lump sum of money i don't know if this is an asu five thousand dollars is what i see coming to you and the lord said before you spend one dollar sweet lady hd he said put it before him and he will give you direction said the lord god almighty i do see a quick trip even into the united states God said he's about to turn some things around for you. That thing you've been laboring for and it looked like it was never going to be released. God say in this season is about to be released. A miracle is about to happen even over the paperwork. Expect a call. Glory to God. Over the paperwork. Glory to God. God said no man will lay hands upon him. Not a son of wickedness afflict him. God putting a shield about your baby. God is putting a shield about him. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Stand fast and be blessed. Venus Wilson. God has called you. Amen. Like a Nehemiah. You're always on the wall and you're watching and your discernment is sharp, amen. And so God said in the season, he's going to draw you into a place to show you many secret things, to show you things even in nations, not just in churches, not just in following and seeing what people's movements are, but finding out strategic movements in the realms of the spirit, even in the realms of the unseen. Many dreams and visions said the Lord God Almighty. Well, I give you Venus Wilson. This is the hour I'm causing the anointing on your life to spring up. Many people look at you and they say, oh, um... You know, they, know, they don't know what to expect when you open up your mouth. But in this hour, said the Lord, he's about to equip you. And they're going to really be in shock at what the Lord is about to do through you. Venus Wilson, glory to God. Deidre Hall. Hey, the Lord say he's enlarging the place of your territory. Hallelujah. And I see somebody needing some place to live. And I see you opening up your heart and bringing this person into your home. Amen. And it's okay. It's a young lady, praise God. And she needs to be sheltered and she needs to be loved. Amen. And so God is going to send her. Amen. So that those spirits that are on her can drop off. <clears throat> There's a new thing God is doing. Even in the midst of your family. And I see you're closer than ever before. Glory to God. Victory is coming over your house. There's a generational blessing that has been released over your children. Hallelujah. I want you to get a bottle of olive oil, Deidre Hall, and pray over it. When you get it, call me. I can pray. Amen. And then I, uh, the Holy Spirit, I'll tell you what to do with that oil. Um, Deidre Hall. Amen. You can inbox me. Call me tomorrow. Anytime after 12 o'clock. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Rabandi Yoredebe Kosori Amandere Shanique Bozeman. The Bible says, Many be the plans in a man's heart, but only the Lord's purpose shall prevail. 
May the Lord say his purpose shall prevail over you, Shanique Bozeman. This is the hour and the time. The gifts of God in your belly that have laid dormant, they're about to come forth and with fire. You are a literary genius. Amen. You can sit down and put words together like, like a poet. Amen. And so God in this season is going to cause the things that are hidden and things that people cannot see and things that people have not known about you in personal times. Amen. God is going to cause you to be a reflection of who he is. There's a gift of love that you carry. You can love anybody. Amen. <laughs> I used to be like that, amen. Shunik Bozeman, amen. But God has given you and equipped you with this. God said, don't allow anybody to contaminate what he's called you to do. He called you to love. Don't let other people's opinions of other people contaminate you, Shunik Bozeman. Stay pure before the Lord. I see a wedding in your family, amen. I see a wedding. And I see everybody getting together. And right after a wedding, I see somebody's going to pass away. Hallelujah, Shanik Bozeman. Glory be to God. Rabandi Osakadabasekeshaya. Ashley Nicole Robinson. Ashley Nicole Robinson, I don't know you. Amen. But blessed be the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. Stand fast and see the salvation of the Lord. I hear the Lord say tonight, He's fighting for you. Mighty angels have been released on your behalf. And God says to tell you, you are in your victory season. You are in your victory hour. This word is confirmation because you have suffered long enough. You have struggled long enough. And God has caused great doors to open. But <coughs> let me tell you something. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, neither into the hearts of man the things that God is getting ready to prepare. Listen, I see a university status and I see like a PhD. God is getting ready to do something great in your life. You're about to be anointed by God to influence the influential. Ashley Nicole Robinson. Hallelujah. Some things the enemy stole from you. God is getting ready to give it back to you. Ashley Nicole Robinson. Somebody help them praise God right now. Somebody Hallelujah. begin to bless God tonight. Somebody begin to honor the Lord. Somebody begin to give God praise. Come on, Joshua. Give God a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Say hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen, somebody. Pretty M. McDonald. Pretty M. McDonald. What can the enemy do with you? I'm going to answer. Nothing. From a child, the enemy tried you from, from one situation to the next. Pretty M. McDonald. But I hear the Lord say, he has you in the palm of his hand and no man is able to pluck you out. You are special to God. And God has surrounded you with the right people in this season. Amen. Amen. The hogwarts of, of your life have been removed by the hand of the Lord. Amen. Those people that will detract from you. Those people that will try to steal your moment of celebration. God said, this is the hour now that he's going to cause even to turn around. I see business for you. Pretty M. McDonald. Donald, I see business and lucrative business, amen, and things turning around financially, amen, it's going to be like a financial haven and money is going to flow, it doesn't matter what is happening around you, the taxation systems won't even bother you, because the favor of God is going to give you an override, come on somebody, begin to give God amen. praise, Hallelujah. we bless God for you, um, uh, Brother Alan Bell, amen, we yes. bless God for all of you on the line, my cousins tonight, Rika, um, Rasha, um, Keetra, all of y'all, amen. God bless you, Apostle Denise Johnson. I bless God for you, woman of God. It was awesome. You, you don't want to know how many times the bishop played that video with you. <laughs> amen. He played that so many times. I said, Lord, the anointing from the woman of the woman of God could jump on the phone on this man. <laughs> amen. So you really, God really used you in Atlanta, and I thank God for you, amen. That was a moment. We drive all those miles, and I tell God, I said, I'm going to go. I have to be there, you know. And and I'm like that. Uh, we're all Bahamians, and I believe that we have, to, we have to learn to set the bar. We have to learn how to celebrate each other and how to be that support system. I bless God for you, woman of God. But this is your hour. You're about to take on millionaire status amen and one thing about you woman of god ain't nobody even gonna know when you come out of a hundred thousand dollar status in terms of net value and go into the millionaire status but you're about to hit it praise god and you're you're about to become friends apostle denise johnson with somebody with a with a yacht and somebody with a jet and you know this person's gonna say whenever you need to go just call me you know you can just go you know and, you know god is giving you favor in high places amen this is your season that's when the person talks i could i could just hear the lady you know whenever you're ready to go you know amen somebody uh, and i can see her little face praise god but this is your season of exaltation amen you've come out of the season where the enemy tried to bombard you with everything that he could and the lord say he's freeing up your dream in the realms of your dreams he's freeing you up and the spirit of terror that the enemy tried to send against you hallelujah god say he's sending it back tonight to the senders in the name of jesus christ hallelujah victory shall be yours like never before hallelujah 
what the enemy meant for bad God he's already turned it around mighty woman of Zion somebody begin to give God glory yeah, and praise yeah. glory. come on say Come on, somebody type it into that. I believe I have my breakthrough. Come on, say I believe yes. I have my breakthrough. Come on, say I believe it. Come on, say I believe, I believe it tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. We're about to, to pray. Bishop, do you have anything you want to say to the people of God tonight? Okay. Okay, Bishop, say he bless you all in the name of the Lord tonight. He dressed a little too sexy anyway for camera. I don't know what's going on with the bishop. He just getting too sexy. Y'all need to pray for him. Amen. Showing everything. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Yes. See it there. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above. All you could ask or think according to the power that is at work in you. If I was you, I'd get busy working on the power. Spend some quality time with God. If yeah. you're on this line tonight and you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, come on, say it with me. Say, Lord, I yeah. repent of all my sins. Father, forgive me. I believe that Jesus came, that he died, that he rose again just for me. I believe, God, that you have a plan for my life, so I renounce Satan and all of his works, and yeah. I decree that I'm saved. In Jesus' name. You said that prayer. You're now a part of the household of faith. It is time to build your life in God. Stay away from the spirit name backsliding and press into the spirit name acceleration. Press toward the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen, somebody. I enjoyed my time on the line with you tonight. Know that God has you covered. If you want to be a blessing to the ministry, there, there is a link on the page um, somewhere. And go ahead and do that. I just love all of you. I thank God for you. Thank yeah. you for showing up tonight. If yeah. we were somewhere in a building and all of you had shown up, let me tell you something. I would feed all of you. Amen? Because that's what we do at Righteous Run. That we make sure you get a hot meal. And, and, and if your pastor ain't doing it, tell your pastor it's time for them to start feeding you after service because he doesn't <laughs> he done give you the spiritual food, but you need some natural food. Yeah. Amen? Praise God. We just love you. We cover you under the blood. And we thank God for all of you in them. Amen? Bishop, tell the people you love them. Love y'all. <laughs> And Blessings, he, everyone. Yeah, and he looked too sexy. Let me see. Blessings, everyone. Oh, look at all them muscles. That's too much for y'all. Y'all can't handle it. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Somebody blow me a kiss. Tell me you love me because I let me, let me tell you something. I love you and them. I love all you and them. All my Bahamian people in the 242, all of my newly founded family in the 910, even my new enemies and my new frenemies. I love all you and them, ma'am. My, all my in-laws, I don't have no outlaws, and I thank God for that. Praise God. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I bless Apostle. I bless um, Pastor Mary Mitchell. I bless you, woman of God. And I see your heart in this moment, and I hear the Lord say to tell you, he is standing with you. God said, he is standing with you. And God said, within three days, the solution to your issue, God is going to send it. In three days, the solution to the issue, he's going to send you the answer. Amen? In, in, in the form of a person, in the form of a human being. Glory to God. Get ready for finances to begin to flow. Uh, finances, a financial blessing in an envelope. Amen? A check is coming to you. Someone is going to bless you. Amen? Someone is going, they're watching you. Amen. And they're going to bless your life. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Keep on pressing, woman of God. God has heard your prayer. He's about to strengthen you for the next leg of your journey. Love you, woman of God. I cover you tonight in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. That's my, that's my, um, that's my personal stylist. Sweet lady HD. How you doing, Heather? I say, miss you, girl. I miss you, too. Can you tell my hair misses you? Listen, I got to try to get you on a, on a plane, Heather. Inbox me your cell number because this is a new phone I have. I can see if I got to fly you over here when my cousins come in so that um, I can get my hair done, you know, the Bahamian style. Because, <laughs> you know, I think all of that helped Bishop to just fall in love with me. I was so fabulous. Hey, Bishop, speak the truth. <laughs> Honey, mm. you know that's true. Mm. I was so cute. You know, I still cute. Oh, my husband said I still cute, child. Thank God. Anyway, um, so we say we bid you good night. Joshua and the tech department did a great job tonight, amen. Um, Bishop was right here. Play strong tower, my love, amen. amen. Can't get between me and this handsome man. God just know what to do. Look at that handsome face. When I turn over in the night, I say, thank you, Jesus. I don't say, whoo, glory. <laughs> ah! Anyway, let me go. I love all you, though. Know. Cover you under the blood of Jesus. Night, night.